Hey guys, I'm Cosmo and welcome back to SnowRunner. Uh, I looked over my options uh, from the last episode. And I think I'm gonna go... We have uh, something like uh, Steel River Supplies here. Which we have to deliver. One fuel cure trailer from this little section here we haven't uh, unlocked yet. Well, not, I say unlocked, but just revealed per se. And some consumables and some wood planks. This is all pretty easy. We have decent access and we have um, done a lot of jobs for these areas for the farm, for the um, uh, lumber mill. So it should be relatively smooth sailing. And that's a pretty good thing because I'm not exactly uh, at my peak today, I'm kind of tired. So I'm just gonna sit back, chillax, and do some very, well, heavy hauling. I was gonna say light hauling, but uh, given what we're uh, using right now, light is not exactly the word I'll be using. Uh, this is a trailer, right? Usually it's safe, I need uh, a saddle. So this is just a normal use trailer goes on the ball hitch and at most I think I'll need two uh, slots so just this uh, flatbed would be enough so let's head out uh, first things first should we go for the fuel cure trailer I don't think there's a specific order we have to do these in usually they would be grayed out right if we need to do them uh, in a specific order, you know, the sec second section would be grayed out. So, either way, let's just go for this. Let's, uh, this, this, this. Yeah, this seems entirely solid. Actually, I think I can actually also get uh, the stuff from the lumber mill on uh, my way to, into town just so it to be slightly more efficient we have um, explored the option i think last episode or the episode before last uh, that we can actually do double loads with this truck with this setup right now I guess it would nearly be a snow runner episode if we didn't start out fully muddied. Can we turn this along somehow? Nope, I'm pretty far away. Oh, I forgot to have a differential lock. We've been through this exact spot like 50 times already. Why do I have issues? Okay, seriously, will I have to actually recover 5 meters from my base? I think I... I think I'll have to. <laughs> This is not progress that I'm making here. <sighs> okay, sure. Let's... Let's give that another shot. This time without uh, being entirely retarded. Try 
to avoid most of that murky area and also staying in uh, range of magical trees for us to hitch onto. wonder about the game designers just putting uh, this spot and uh, the spot that goes east uh, so close to the base and they're they've always, ca always caused me trouble you guys have seen by this point I think we're at what, episode 11 12 and uh, I always have some issues with those areas I was uh, entirely considering going down the... Just marching straight across the river, because why not? But... Uh, I don't even have a snorkel on this car. Actually, at this point, even the way I manage my money, I have quite a bit of money, so I can fully pimp this out with everything, including, like, uh, pretty optionals if I really want to. this truck ever went this fast. Yeah, let's stay off the road because that looks kind of muddy. Ooh, well, camera went haywire for a moment there. Oh, wow. some traction. Let's hope that uh, eventually this pulls out. out of uh, range or winch hmm this is indeed the problem uh, let's again give uh, low range a shot Just waiting for the ground to just give way. Well, not to give way, but for us to get across. There is that one moment where, on low range, with you know the fresh lock on and everything, you have that moment where the truck just lifts off a bit, and you know you've uh, successfully navigated that uh, patch of mud. But that doesn't really seem to be happening here. I mean, we're barely advancing, which is kind of an, an understatement. Uh, 
Oh, oh, there we go. I got, I got some traction on that side. Great, great, great. And we are close enough so we can actually use the winch on that tree. Yeah, this is definitely some better ground over here. Let's release it. Let's try sticking to this uh, newly found better ground. I think color matters a lot in regards to, you know, judging the ground. The darker it is, the worse it is. Okay, that was a very weird attach, but it works. And let's head out. For sure, let's try sticking to the um, non black areas. still surprised how generous and just I mean kind of arcade at the end of the day uh, the trailers are this would have sheared right off so many times by this point again I'm sad I don't remember much about my uh, previous experiences in um, mud runners and in tires because I I think I remember the, them being kind of more simulating you know just harder on the player uh, wow this is a bad spot I wasn't really expecting it to go this bad here. And the only position I actually can move that helps me is towards the water. And we do have absolutely zero. If we get close enough, I think we can use this tree over here. That's that's a spot. But I'm not sure this will actually work for us. I'm actually surprised how much dead trees um, help. I mean, they have like a huge weight. Oh. But coming back to our situation here, am I terribly, terribly stuck? I mean, we have mud going more than halfway up the wheel well. So I guess so. Uh, let's see if we can. Sweet. Okay, let's see. Will this tree last one second or two seconds? Two seconds. Okay. Uh, yeah. I'm not sure what be doing here guys this I mean I know I've gotten myself out of some very bad situations uh, with a magical winch but I'm not I'm not seeing it here this is just mucked up entirely and I have zero options hmm. 
Yeah, I know. No way, no how. Hmm. I mean, I'm, I'm thinking of actually recovering because I'm not seeing any, any kind of uh, give here. burning fuel and I'm just uh, going through the ranges maybe one of them helped me more than the other but no just literally entirely mucked up um, okay let's do something drastic let's uh, detach the trailer see if we, at the very least we can get out of here on our own then we can pull the trailer after us. And let's give some time to the differential lock and the low range because sometimes you know it takes a bit for the wheels to grasp on. now shaking water for whatever the good that does <laughs> where's that because the storm started i don't know Ugh. i'm literally not making any progress and this is just making a very beautiful truck shaped hole in the ground I do have another option, which is kind of bad. Just using that trailer for a bit of leverage. I guess uh, I, I should just recover and come back here again but this time just try and go the long way around and actually maybe use the trees on the side there to uh, winch myself around because at this point I'm just entirely out of, out of options I'm not seeing what I could do here to uh, get me off uh, I don't mean get me off on that kind of get me off just <laughs> get me out of this oh oh what was that did we yes we actually we did now at this point it's kind of bad because we're actually running squarely against the truck 
I did get some uh, minor traction there. Okay, now let's let's just uh, get this one back. Yeah, let's uh, make sure the trailer is detached because I don't I don't know if I recover with the trailer. If the trailer comes with me, that might be a bit cheating. So I don't think that's a thing that happens. But either way, just so we don't uh, mess it up. Uh, have it unattached and let's do recover and you know what uh, let's actually give it a shot with this I, I'm not even sure if the trailer actually works on this I think because I know this uses like uh, scout trailers I, I think it should I think it should Uh, I got the biggest, yeah, I got the biggest uh, off-wheel, off-road tires. Yeah, let's just give this a shot because I've been doing this a lot with the heavy truck and getting in these very bad situations and I don't think that's the way this should have been done. Actually, uh, yeah, I think it would have been smarter for me to just leave the heavy truck there <laughs> and then come with this and see if I can drag it out. That's, that's probably something smarter that I should have done instead of doing this. But either way, might as well... well actually, I'm not, seeing, I'm not seeing an actual hitch. Well, I'm seeing a hitch here. I'm not sure if the, that's the hitch I actually need for the truck for that trailer well either way if nothing else uh, i may have the option of uh, just using the winch to pull it free and get it very across that mud but well at the risk this lighter one has better luck through this uh, horrible mud here but it does uh, go down as about as much as uh, my bigger truck went I mean half wheel something like that so I'm not sure exactly how much weight matters Yeah, was that? Yeah, I think that was my first uh, fail recover, which I actually had to go back to base and then power through. Blaming it on the tiredness. I did a fair bit of driving in, in real life today. <laughs> and apparently, I used all my talent in real life and didn't leave any for uh, SnowRunner. But hey, uh, learn from our mistakes. Might as well see if uh, one, if trailers attached to uh, scout trucks. some 
serious mud. And this is using uh, decent tires and it's light and it does have all wheel drive. No differential but still. You would expect this to not have that big of a deal. Okay, let's go on the extremes here. And wow, this was some extremely good ground, uh, which I just avoided. Okay, first things first, let's get that trailer back on a good stretch of ground. there. Let's park and break this. Let's pull that out. Ooh, 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 ooh. Easy there. <laughs> wow. Okay, that was nice. Yeah, I know I have the handbrake on and I'm trying to accelerate. I know, I know. Okay, this did a good job. Let's see, can, we, can I do attached trailer? No stupid trailer to attach. Okay, right, so uh, this only works with the tiny trailers, not the big trailer. However, a winch is a winch and this works. Uh, although, I don't think I'll be able to... I, th I think I'll be able to complete the... Uh, the quest for this one because it requires the trailer itself but if I were to need to use something in the trailer I mean some material in the, in the trailer construction material or something I could not because the trailer has to be part of my um, ensemble Look at this. You go, little truck. Again, I, I, oh, 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 uh, this is not climbing this, is it? This will make it, oh, well, actually, I can totally do one wheel in one wheel, not the problem. Oh. I guess it's okay. Ooh, oh, no, oh, we'll draw. Oh. Okay, let's release the winch. Let's. Uh, okay. Let's uh, see if we can totally solve this before we drown horribly. Luckily we still have the autonomous winch, but there are some very bad things going on here. Um. Oh wow, this has been truly a thing. go exactly what I wanted <laughs> no not really no and now we're stuck in this very horrible mucky terrain here we're also running out of fuel because this new engine I installed 
is a total hog. back here let's okay man easy there my god you think this has a bit more finesse to it but it doesn't Still gonna drag this out. Oh, 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 oh no! <sighs> this seems like a rerun. Oh, gods. This is just not my day, is it? Talk about uh, doing almost nothing. Don't even ask me what I'm doing right now because I, I don't know. I really do not want to recover yet again. Wow, this is a mess. Oh, oh, we have the current. The current is tilting us. Way to go, current. When you're, when you're actually at this point, you're actually relying on the river to uh, solve your problems, you know you definitely fucked up. Not even the camera works anymore. Oh, there we go, finally, it clicked. ourselves back up even if we are now entirely stuck in this uh, horrible horrible mud and actually we're running out of fuel as well and the camera is bugging out this game really doesn't want to let me win today Absolutely nothing to attach it to. Yeah, of course it's stalling. And we are also going past the episode mark at this point. And at first I know what I'll mark this episode down as. Total fail. <laughs> um, but yeah, okay. I'll, uh, I'll probably uh, return this uh, 
Chevrolet back to base, recover it, uh, and maybe come back with a heavy truck next time, uh, because it's possible. You know what? I don't know. We'll see. Uh, again, if you like this episode, and I have no idea why you would like this episode, you can click like, subscribe, all that good YouTube stuff. Um, I was Cosmo, and I'll see you guys in the next one, hopefully with a bit more luck than uh, what we've had today. Have a good one.